This man accused of drinking alcohol while injecting women with Botox. Investigators say he wasn't even legally allowed to do the procedure. It is one of the most bizarre cases a Jacksonville Sheriff's Office investigator says that he's seen in his career. Investigators say Nelson Turin branded the procedures as Botox and Bubbles events, where he would drink champagne and Four loco during consultations. News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joins us live. And Eric, JSO says this was really risky to clients who had no idea that this was not a doctor. Yes, very risky because uh, Turin Nelson Jr. is not licensed to perform Botox injections. In fact, he was arrested here at the Luxus Clinical Esthetician Office located off San Jose Boulevard after undercover vice detectives say they caught him in the act. Now, the investigation into Nelson began after JSO got a tip from another law enforcement agency that Nelson was illegally performing medical procedures. The tip said Nelson was willing to let his clients take the risk while he pocketed their cash. Investigators say Nelson posted videos online of himself injecting clients with Botox and then performing other esthetician treatments. Now, we can bring it back here live. I want to show you how it all went down. Now, according to what we've been uh, told so far, an undercover detective went inside this office posing as a client. Uh, that detective says that Nelson was drunk as he was preparing to perform one of those procedures. I would say about 25 minutes ago, I spoke with a massage therapist who rents a room here. She says she was in here when a tactical team went in and took Nelson into custody. She also confirmed what police said earlier in a news conference about a, one of his clients asking that he correct a botched problem. She says she was here. She says that is true, that there was someone here, a client, who was complaining about a botched procedure. Of course, we're going to have more on this coming up at 6 o'clock and then again later on tonight at 10 and 11. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.